everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick heads up here. In the recording of this video, I was adjusting my sweater so as not to drop the microphone off of it and realized I was doing that while I was talking and my mouth got way too close to the mic. The sound would spike. I did try to edit some of that out, but some of it I couldn't because then I would lose the message. So just wanted to let you know, <laughs> I am aware and I hope you still enjoy the video. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And today's pick a card is a star seed slash sacred geometry reading, okay? And we're gonna be doing a few fun things. We're gonna be doing cards. We are going to be doing the cabochons that I made. And then we're gonna shake this little tree here. <laughs> and yes, that's rose quartz on uh, just clear quartz, a clear quartz uh, cluster. And of course the tree is a symbolism of tree of life. Any tradition that you look at, the tree is incredibly sacred. And rose quartz is all about gentle love, pure love, inner child, inner child healing, you know, the warm fuzzies. <laughs> That's essentially what that is. And then of course the quartz cluster is all about uh, detoxing, purification, and also amplification, yes? And so I tuned in, I made these little cards, okay? And we're gonna shake the tree. Whatever comes out for your group is your message. If nothing comes out, which those things are in there so precariously, of course, something's gonna fall out. <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute to reset it for each group. But if, you know, if by some weird chance it doesn't fall out, we do have a few cards here along the bottom. I'll just use my intuition and get you a card. Okay, so what we have here is we have group one, which is a rose quartz sphere. We have group two, which is white aventrine, and group three, which is a pale carnelian. So tune in and see which group you think pertains to you. Okay, group one, let's see what your star seed sacred geometry message is. We're gonna start with the cards here. I can pick them up. <laughs> All right. So first we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. And the second card here is Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. And cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. So this definitely indicates going through a tough time here, but well supported. So let me just look at this story first with the cards. Yeah, this, this is feeling like a misfit, uh, feeling like you don't fit in. Channeling and uplifting humanity. So bringer of the light kind of thing. So this is why you don't feel like you fit in. Your frequency is just very, very different and you have a different perspective. Now you can take this as, oh, I, I you know, I resonate with a uh, Pleiadian energy or, I mean, just remember you can tune into this energy anytime you want. You don't have to necessarily define yourself as such. I want to feel this out a little bit more because it does have this heavier feeling of like, you know, trying to force this, this feeling that you have, okay? Trying to make that fit within this world, right? And the frequency just isn't there yet. And that's okay. That's part of what we're doing here is to bring that frequency uh, higher, right? And then your life is a canvas. This is artist manifestation, creative accountability. So whatever you want to create with this energy, dive in and do it, okay? So some of you, if you're listening to this and going, it's very misfit kind of energy, but in like that, and I mean that in a cute way, okay? Like <laughs> you, have, you, you are a carrier of a very, very different kind of frequency that's not always understood. And that can really be expressed beautifully through so, some sort of like creative talent. Think about it. Anybody, who are the most eccentric people out there? <laughs> right? They're the artists, the writers, the musicians, 
um, you know, or that creativity could be in technology. It could be engineering. It could be architecture, interior design. I mean, it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it brings you joy, lifts you up, and gets that light flowing. Yes? And then this cracked open, and it says, just to remind you, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. This is having a hard time. <laughs> It's just not, I mean, you're not fitting in with the earth. And right now, it's coming to a breaking point. So some of you are probably pretty uh, fed up with this world. You might be fed up with things that are happening, events. You might find yourself getting stirred up. But it's a difference between like an ego anger and a, a sort of stifled light frustration and finally you're saying okay it's time for me to step into my own it's time for me to not be afraid of who I am and to embrace my sensitivities embrace my light and do what I came here to do and what's interesting I want to put this in the message too because I'm feeling that this it wasn't always the right time for this as a matter of fact no matter how light filled you feel that you are we all had to go through a human experience or else how could we help and some of us chose some of the most tumultuous human experiences okay so it's time to channel some of that energy that in turn will not only make you happier but it's a way of speaking to humanity without shouting in their faces. I mean, maybe artistically you could shout in their faces, but it's a way to get the message across without you having to be right in front of them. All right. So give that some thought. All right, here we go. We're going to shake the tree. <laughs> what if all of them fall down? If they all fall down, then I'm just going to intuitively take one. So let's just give it a little shake. And what I meant to say in the intro is any of them that land up and I may take a couple more. So the ones that landed up, we have let go, <laughs> material things. Now, for some of you who chose this group, maybe you do get a little obsessed with material things, but it's, it's because you just want to fit in so badly. All right, this is somebody who gets obsessed with that. And they're telling me too that that's a comfort. That's something that is a comfort to you. I want to take this one too. Oh, I just picked up two of them. <laughs> Y'all can thank these nails, okay? That's how you got two. Um, <laughs> let me do this that way. Better chance of, ah! Let me try that again. <laughs> we, we'll get this. So we have peace. Can you see that? Anyway, there's peace. Let me put that down because it's, and be free. Okay, you're free to be you now, but part of this cracking open has to do with the material things and this cracking open so whatever has occurred for you okay there could have been an event or something like that all of this is about you being free and letting go and it's going to bring you immense peace okay so there's that portion cute right i don't know i had fun with this although i did not think about my nails <laughs> little cards and nails you for real okay so let's toss these guys aside i gotta watch my mic with my sweater mm -hmm. and i know y'all are like going nuts you're like read that little thing right there read it right now innocence innocence it's time to regain your innocence okay let us get the cabochons Mmm, got quite a few of those. I'll turn them over until we're ready. That way you can enjoy the design of the paper. <laughs> the big reveal. All right, and we'll get a few. Oh, gosh. You know the story of these guys, right? If not, check out my other videos. Got a lot. We got, oh, oh, oh. Big stories, big stories. <laughs> Let us see 
what all these messages are for you. My goodness. Well, we saw that this is Archangel Raphael. All right. So uh, there's a lot of heart centeredness, heart centeredness, awareness around Archangel Raphael popping out. Okay. So that's healing. But he, along with Archangel Metatron, it's about astral travel because nobody knows this, but Archangel Raphael also oversees soulmates as well as traveling. And so, again, I'm feeling this whole astral realm, astral travel kind of feeling here. What's this little guy? Abundance. Yeah, you can have a breakthrough in this human existence, even if you don't feel like you fit in. You're very protected. Let's look at this guy. This is an archangel. Stop it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Archangel Metatron. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so there is the astral traveling right there. And make sure you do so safely. Okay, Metatron can help you do that. Metatron's also all about the Akashic records. Okay. So the keeper of every moment, basically, where we've been, where we are now, where we're heading. And I'm trying to tune in here to see if there's anything, you know, there's this whole thing here, this whole message of you not hating yourself, you not hating yourself, healing the sense of not belonging and finding purpose. And I think that's kind of why the, the Akashic records popped up. I do want to say I am wearing this sweater because the color of the sleeve goes with this. But if you saw what's going on up at the top, if you hear any like rustling against the mic, I am so sorry. The sweater is like all over the place. <laughs> so it's very involved. Anyway, let's get, <laughs> get some more of this story going on here. Openness. Beautiful. Yeah, it, it's time to be open. I wouldn't go around like being like, you know, yeah, I'm a star seed unless you want to. You're surrounded by love. Okay. Lots of love. But it's okay to be more open about your beliefs. It's okay to be more open about feeling. Right? How do you feel? Now, this could indicate too. Look at that. Remember I said soulmates and love? Okay. Some of you out there feel like, oh, I did life right. I have a soulmate. And that's all well and good. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you, truly, because... When soulmates, the ones that, not, that are not bringing the lessons, but like, you know, the, the person that's going to walk this planet with you, I think that's a gorgeous thing. For, th for those of you out there who feel like such an outcast and you feel like no one's ever going to love me, nobody's ever going to come along, not true. Not true. It's coming probably soon for a lot of you. It depends, you know, the timing of things. Remember, time is not actually linear. And that all depends on your choices okay we have peace again wasn't one of the squares peace be at peace with who you are be at peace within your heart and then we got this guy now it's gabriel <gasps> creativity <laughs> remember the creative projects and gabriel can also indicate fertility for some of you if that is something that you are hoping for just make sure that if you're trying to have a child make sure you're doing it for the right reasons not to save a relationship not to fit in, not to feel like, oh, this is just what one does in life. No, <laughs> right? Because you feel like it's part of your soul's path. Now, what story do we have here? We have serenity. Oh, really? <laughs> we have serenity. There she is. Um, we have caution. Okay, we'll talk about that. Oh, I forgot that guy was in there. So you know what? He wasn't supposed to be in there, <laughs> but because it came up for your group, we'll do a yes and yes or no, or maybe or whatever question here in a moment. Oh, except we have no. Again, we'll get clarity. Don't worry. Fear not. Fear not. Look at that. Wow. What's with all the timing? Intuition. Yeah, I'm going to have to touch these up as they bang up on each other. This is from an oil marker, so no biggie. I can always take care of that. So... You're developing your intuition, which is Archangel Metatron's territory, okay? So you're working on that. But some of you are not, you're, uh-uh, no caution. You're listening to the wrong people, and you're coming at it from the wrong angle. I got a fuzzy from the bag on my nail. <laughs> you're coming at it from the wrong angle. And some of you, 
again, there's this feeling of, I just want to belong. I don't want to feel like, I want to feel like I have my people, right? And so you kind of give in to whatever teaching someone claims is the teaching. And really, it's time to uh, listen to your own intuition. So whatever you're thinking of, we're going to spin this other one. And then I'm going <laughs> to, you know, now I got to be fair to all the groups. I got to stick it back in in case it wants to come back out. But uh, whatever you're thinking of, be cautious and wait. And that's interesting because I'm feeling like a pull here. So don't rush a creative project. Don't just try to write a book just so you can say you're an author. Write a book because you have a message. Write a book because it lights up your heart. All right? Because even people who are of the light, however you want to define yourselves, we can still get into this realm in this world and we want so much to express our love. And sometimes we get rejected. And so we go into the material things. We go into trying to prove ourselves just for the opportunity to love someone or to love a group of people, okay? To feel like we're fulfilling our paths. So there's the no. Let's put that over there. And let's see if this will spin on this sticker. Okay, so think of your question. Let's see if I can spin this with nails. I have no guarantees. Oh, <laughs> hang on, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. It said no, but let's, the sticker be gone. Okay, bye. All right, here we go. Nails. Oh my God. Okay, so now we got a yes. Let's do best two out of three. <laughs> no, okay. We're going to take no. No, that could turn into a yes. So be cautious. It's about your approach. You just need to revamp your approach and then you can have whatever it is that your heart is wanting. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I hope that was helpful. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. I went ahead and pulled your cards. Let's see what we have. First, we have protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Move this guy out of the way. And then we have boundaries. Yeah, where do you need to establish better boundaries? You know, group one, there was kind of this message coming up of us not fitting in. Okay. And I mean, that's probably going to be a message every time we do <laughs> a reading of this nature. Uh, and sometimes we need to set those boundaries with ourselves where it's like, no, I'm not going to go along to get along. No, I'm not going to change who I am in order or deny a part of me just because it makes other people comfortable. Okay. So it's committing to yourself. And then we have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. And the Seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expression. This is all about don't be quiet anymore. <laughs> right? It's okay to be at peace. I want to offer that to you because some of you out there, it's like you're going against the grain. It's as if there's this expectation that's been put upon you to get out there and to be something, you know, the whole bit. And I'm hearing to show up in life in a way that's inauthentic to who you actually are. All for the sake of, quote unquote, not being exposed. And what this is saying here is that you are protected. You know what it is? Some of you are afraid to set boundaries. You're afraid to, um, that there's going to be punishment for setting boundaries. That's what I want to say. And isn't that interesting? And I understand it, you know, because this can be a very cruel world, <laughs> right? Where if people, people are like, if you step out of line, then we're coming for you here. But we do have that word. I, I want to point at that word safety. Okay. Protection, safety. You're safe. You have energies around you that are protecting you and guiding you. Okay. Birthing creations, tapestry of life expression. So don't, don't squash your voice. Don't squash your voice. And listen, if anybody's going to bring you that message, it should come from me. <laughs> right? <laughs> because you guys know if you followed me for any amount of time, I've always been shunned even by people who are supposed to be my community 
because I didn't show up in the way that they expected. Because I do come with truth and observations and trying to start a discussion. But people want to hide. They want to just be love and light. And, you know, I mean, that's not what we're here for. Yeah, it's important to remain positive. But you can be a positive person while still being very honest. And I think that's what is being brought out for you here. All right. There's a lot of combined energies here. Protection. Take, take bits of your soul back. Do a soul retrieval. This is very much so far the energy of people who have grown up in very, I don't, I don't know if we can use this word, but like toxic family environment, um, just not being accepted and loved and maybe even being punished, punished. Yeah. Because there's this whole sense here of you're safe now. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like all you have to do is call in your guides. And there will be safety. Okay. So now I'm going to shake the little rose quartz tree. And whatever lands face up, we'll take those. And if I feel any others, I or either from the bottom or whatever, I will take those too. So let's give this a little shake. Okay. So we had two. So one is light. Honor your light. It's not something you have to apologize for. It's something you bring to this world as a gift. All right. So there's that. And then we have peace. Yeah, peace is a big one. Pe oh, hi, I'm like over here. <laughs> peace is a big one because this, you know, you deserve to be at peace in your heart. And you know what? There's a lot of darkness that wants to pull you astray. That, And some of you out there who are watching this, you are currently in a dark place or someone has pulled you into a belief system that you know doesn't align with who you are. You know that. Come on into your peace. You come to your peace by tapping into your heart. So I'm going to take this one here as well. Innocence. There we are. Innocence. Tapping back into that and healing the inner child. Healing the inner child. Giving that inner child a voice. Let's take this guy down here too. Look at that. We're just saying tap into your heart. And that is where you will find your peace. This is where you will be able to move on. But again, there's some steps here in order to recover and to regain your sense of self. Because for too long, people have tried to define you. And now you're at a place where you don't need to do that anymore. Okay. So. Ah. <laughs> Did my nails for this video and... I am not used to long nails anymore. I'm trying to pick things up. All right. So let's get your cabochons. Let's see what we have for you. Forgive if my sweater hits my microphone. As I told group one, I'm wearing this for the color of the sleeve. Because <laughs> I knew my sleeve would be in the shot. But the top part is kind of unruly here. So I'm trying to keep that mic in place. Group two, are you guys like the middle child? Some of you out there are. Oh, that one's sticking right in my hand. We're going to get more. Don't worry. Um, some of you are the middle child. And because that literally kind of stuck to my hand as I was talking about the middle child, what is this? Gabriel watches over kids. Well, babies mostly. Babies and uh, toddlers. Essentially, I don't know why there's like an age group. Some people see it as like Gabriel's conception and babies and all that good stuff. And then... When the child gets a little bit older, then it's Metatron. You know what? I bet if you called on either one of them to help out with your children, it's all good. So we're saying middle child <laughs> and Gabriel. And Gabriel's also very nurturing, okay? And helps you feel that it's not okay for you to be the scapegoat, okay? That you don't need to carry guilt for that. The things that you were told were your fault, definitely not your fault. As a child, I'm saying, okay? I mean, as an adult, take accountability for what happens. Okay, so there are those cabochons. And let's get these guys going. This one's getting a lot. So for everyone. I've done one other group. <laughs> but whatever. Got a lot of them. Okay, 
So we have Gabriel. Let's pull this one. Ah. Archangel Ariel. Yeah, your place in this world. And also detoxification. You guys know that she's very much associated with nature, nature angels, being grounded, root chakra, bringing your inspirations to life within this realm. Okay, so there's that. And when we're talking about soul retrieval, you know, it might have to come with some detoxification because if you don't know that you deserve to be treated well, then how will it ever come to you? You know what I'm saying? Ariel is all about wisdom mostly, uh, but Ariel can also help with a lot of things. Ariel is all about um, sort of, um, I want to say esoteric wisdom, okay? And uh, some people kind of argue about what chakra he helps with, but he can help with the solar plexus along with Archangel Michael to help you feel courageous to walk your authentic path. That's the best way I can put this energy. It's sort of, uh, he oversees the hidden, um, he sees the grand plan. I mean, all the angels see the grand plan, but he's the one that can help you understand the bigger picture of your life, reach a potential. This is Archangel Samuel uh, territory as well, but we have, we have Archangel Uriel there and Archangel Raphael. Yeah, there's a lot. Some of you are going through some abuse healing. Please reach out and get help. Okay, these are not, these videos are not meant to be a replacement for therapy. Make sure you're very discerning about what kind of therapist you see. But Raphael can definitely help heal your heart and to regain yourself, regain your sense of self and release. Look at that. We're talking about soul retrieval. We're talking about detoxing, healing, finding your, basically your potential and who you really are, the truth of who you are, feeling nurtured as you do so. And heart. Did we have heart come up in the cards as well? <laughs> so peace through the heart space. And peace. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a theme. There is a theme going on here. <laughs> you deserve to be at peace. You deserve to not... Uh, yeah, this. I think. I feel like this is you setting a boundary and saying no. You deserve to feel good in your life and have positive emotions, healing those emotions. So that goes right with Archangel Gabriel. He helps you heal your emotional body and also Raphael. There you go. Let's have them together. Okay. And then attunement. Yeah, you've been out of whack trying to keep up with the crazy game called being human. Okay. So it's time to let go. It's time to release and detox. Get yourself uh, into alignment and in attunement. This can also be Archangel Sandalfin. Kind of energy too. The Sandalfin helps you, as I always say, be grounded, as does Ariel, uh, and to balance your physical self with your spiritual self. Okay, so that could be very, very helpful for you in unlocking your potentials and helping you to move forward, making decisions, and not just not just giving into things because, well, it's what's expected of me, but rather saying no to that, no to whatever is out there that, you know, whatever sort of material manifestation, manifestations that people tell you, you should want, you say no to that. Or maybe you're like, you know what? I don't have to be married. Who says I have to be married? Who says I have to have kids? Maybe I'm meant to express in a different way. Although we do have Gabriel here, I'm just saying. <laughs> right? So there's that. Traveler. I'm sorry, there's a glare on these. So I have to like <laughs> move them all over the place. So that says Traveler. And that goes along with the Archangel Raphael. Okay, so that can mean literal travel. Maybe you're, you know, trying to do a little getaway whenever it's safe to do so. Um, and doing a little getaway to kind of regroup, to heal. This could be a healing retreat type thing. Although I don't know too many of those that are happening right now as, the, as of the recording of this video. But... You're a soul traveler, and that is priority number one here, to always remember that and to care for yourself as a soul traveler from that perspective, yes? So if that means you do need to retreat every once in a while to give yourself some peace, to connect into your heart, to do your releasing, then by all means, allow yourself to do that. Okay. And this will strengthen your intuition. 
Absolutely. Strengthen your intuition. And Uriel is very much about intuition along with Metatron as well. <laughs> frequency. Oh, this is going to help you unlock, kind of release your, your frequency and, and lift that frequency and, you know, thus hitting your potential. Like we've been saying, I love that. I love that so much. And then what is this? And prosperity. So really what's happening is if you unlock your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, you unlock those things and you face what you have been afraid to face with proper support, of course, as always, when you do that and you let that go, you're releasing it, your frequency raises up and now you have this authentic voice coming forward. Now you're going to make different choices. You're going to go down the road that you feel is right for you. And I'm even getting this message here too, that you'll get more comfortable with not always having the answer. You'll get more comfortable with saying, I don't know. And that's okay. I can figure out my life as it comes. I don't have to lay it all out and pressure myself in order to have prosperity or to have love, okay, or to have that house or, you know, you name it. Like, I don't have to follow that approach. I can trust myself. I came and equipped with my own way of doing things, and that is through energy. That is through my frequency, and that's how I pull in the good stuff. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Hi, group three. So let's get to your cards. I just pulled them for you, shuffled and pulled, did the whole thing. What do we have? We have the Seas of Mentaka, uh, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. Now, this comes with a little bit of a warning here to be careful of your ego. We want, we do have some let's just call them generically energies that came on into this world and they kind of maybe didn't adapt so well when coming into a human body. And so I think that there's this knowingness that's hitting up on the ego. And it's almost as if there's this frustration that the wisdom can't just come through. And so it's crashing into the ego. What does that look like on the surface? Uh, pretentiousness. I know life and you don't. Well, maybe you do, but <laughs> we want to be careful of the kind of frequency that you're putting out there. Yes. So be very aware of that. All right. So trust the timing. Uh, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. You're exactly on time. So there's no need to rush. There's no need to push on anything. And boundaries. Another group got this too. Was that group one? I think it was. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? And again, this could be with yourself or with others uh, or trying to play the fitting in game. It's not going to work, okay? <laughs> it's not going to work. So this is a want to bring the awareness, but I did feel like there was some healing around the ego that's going on here. But for the other portion of you, you're just kind of over here quietly living in this space and just sort of waiting for people to be ready to let you say what you have to say. And it's unfortunate because you have a lot to offer. You came in with it and you've been holding on to this wisdom. A lot of people, many of us come in and we still have the wisdom, but we get scared. We feel like, oh, somehow it's dangerous to have these feelings or these beliefs or whatever. And so I have to suppress it. So many of you out there, so it's kind of divided here <laughs> for your group. Some people are just out there, maybe not taking the best approach and not putting the best energy out there. And yet others are the complete opposite. You're being a little too quiet. Okay. Maybe it is because you know that if you came out, look at any reader that might just kind of be able to tap into a little bit of energy and look how people flood to them. Tell me how to live my life. Tell me what to do. I feel so lost. You know, all of those things. Why is that? Because it is painful to be human. And we're all just looking for someone to understand us. So I understand that some of you have been quiet 
and maybe you're afraid that if you were to come out with your understanding, your wisdom, that it would be not only ridiculed, but that suddenly you'd have to really, inf like, look at this, look at how this card is. She's like right there and all these hands are reaching out to her like desperate souls. Help me, help me, help me. I don't know what to do. I need you. You have this wisdom. Share that. It's almost like these people are around. And it's like, it's not fair that you have so much wisdom. I haven't done the work. I haven't signed up for that in my soul's contract necessarily. But I'm going to take yours. I see what you have and I want it. And so I'm just going to take it. Let that sink in. Because a lot of you out there have that kind of person in your life. And then we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And it is contemplation time. It's time to sit and tap into that soul ping. Okay. What is your soul asking you to do? What is your soul asking you to come forward and present? Now, many of us go immediately into the logistical and we try to put a label on everything. But your power isn't in a label, not even close. As a matter of fact, you limit yourself with human language. So let go of any need to label and just show up with love and show up with honesty. Show up with honesty. And even if it seems like a push-pull between the two of those sometimes, eventually they will play off of one another beautifully and create something that truly uplifts us so there's that part now we're going to shake the tree a little bit any of the cards that land up we will take those and I'll feel out because obviously that tree can't hold that many cards um and you know I'll just pick a few from the bottom uh intuitively okay so here we go what happened <laughs> like looking around where'd they go so here <laughs> Oh, there you go. Bonus. All right, let me get this guy. So we have be free. Okay, it's time to be free. Be free to speak up about who you are and to not be afraid. Oh my gosh, does this literally say, wait, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. I'm like, <laughs> like all over the place with this. This says no rush. And you have this card that says trust the timing. There's no rush. You can't see that. And then we have, here, let me do it like that. So here you go. You have trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out and no rush. So really, really, really heed that message. All right. And this feels like, it kind of goes with that card. Answer the call. And then we have harmony. You can harmonize with yourself whether or not you have other people's approval. You always have you. So again, don't just sit back and wait for permission to be who you are. You're free to be who you are right now. And there's no rush to getting there either, as this says. All right. So let's clear these guys away. Do you love my little sacred geometry? Quartz crystals. Ugh, I adore. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Whenever I have these out, I really do feel like I'm getting my frequencies attuned in a way. I don't know. Maybe not as grandiose as that, but <laughs> all right. So let's get this forward. All right. So let's get you some cabochons. Take these. Okay. Wow. I heard that very clearly. Take these because they kind of jumped up in my hand, but I wanted to give it a fair shuffle. And then it like tossed back up in my hands and said, no, take these. <laughs> Awesome. All right. This bag. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Is that right? All right. Hey, don't ruin my grand reveal, y'all. Put that over like that. Okay. Okay. So the first one out. Gabriel has come. Has Gabriel come up for everybody? I think so. I think Gabriel's come out for everybody. So there's a lot of nurturing and and learning to sort of channel this beautiful energy 
into your creativity and have a creative voice, yes? And to give you some gift of nurturance because that's very important for many of us. We don't usually get that kind of support. Archangel Jophiel, wisdom, beauty, full understanding of your connection to the universe. Jophiel is very connected to the crown chakra, okay? So where can you be less afraid to open that aspect of you safely yes again it kind of goes into that whole thing of well if i open up my wisdom everyone's going to come for me whether they're coming for me because they don't believe in me uh in what i believe or not believe in me but you know they don't believe the same way i do and so they want to persecute me or they're afraid of the things that i have to say and the wisdom i have to offer i hate saying that because you know it's so cringy when someone comes forward and says i know i just have so much wisdom to offer uh Someone who's truly in their wisdom doesn't usually talk like that. <laughs> but, so th there's a little heads up. There's a little clue. But this is for the quiet ones. This is for the ones that you're so afraid of getting taken advantage of that you're often silent. And so you are denying a beautiful uh, part of yourself that really can offer quite a contribution to this world. Abundance. So some of you are worried about how you can be authentic to who you are and create your abundance. But fear not, fear not, it will come to you. It will come to you by answering the calling. <laughs> Check that out. Answer the calling, okay? Whatever you feel called to do, come on forward and do that. And love, do everything with love. Do everything from the heart center, okay? That's your place of authenticity. And that's where... You're actually grounded in your soul's purpose, okay? Where you're not just coming from the ego, just do things because of how it's going to make you look or because it will bring you the abundance, right? But rather do something that you love and let the abundance be the byproduct of that. Why not show up in the world in a constant state of joy? Not constant, you know, we're being human and all, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Give yourself that shot to do something you love and an angel. So do not forget your spiritual team. And some of you out there, if you were attracted to this reading, it might be that you only see your spirit guides as being um, sort of light beings. And you forget that there are these light beings too. Although I guess it would be a little weird if you're on my channel and you didn't know about angels. But <laughs> right? or maybe you're just learning. But remember, you always have this support. And really, there is that message. You already know this, but let me just give it to you again. You are never alone. You are never alone. Pinnacle. Mm -hmm. So it's time to give, I want to say give yourself a chance to do this, to reach the pinnacle, to get to that peak. All right. It's time for you to blossom. I know that's kind of a weird way of putting it, but <laughs> it's time for you to open up. And have some of that authenticity come forward. You don't need to hide anymore. And focus. Okay. And grace. This is kind of the energy that you're bringing into this world as well. Bringing in the grace. Okay. So you have to live in that. You have to live in that grace. You have to understand it. That's part of your calling. And traveler. That's a part of your calling as well. To be a soul traveler. And that means... When in Rome, okay? So when you're here, yes, you are participating in life in the way that you see other people doing it, but it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, hook into that exact same energy that other people do. You're here to be an observer, okay? Attunement. Let's say you're, let's say you're going on an overseas trip and you're so super excited, but there was a long flight and... You don't quite know all the customs. I mean, you studied as much as you could, but you're kind of mentally exhausted for trying to remember everything, or maybe you're trying to remember the language or, you know, what have you, just trying not to offend anybody. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so, you know, this says, you know, you can give yourself a break because you are, you don't know all the customs of being human. You don't really get that yet. Um, and it's time to realign in that grace. So focus, <laughs> Focus on the grace to reach the pinnacle. And Jophiel helping you along with your angels. Mm -hmm. Boundaries. Boundaries. Oh my gosh. 
Everyone wants a piece of what's good, <laughs> right? Everybody's coming for you. So <laughs> remember this. This is a very, very, very strong message for you, okay? It is all right for you to say no. And then we have routine. Now, this is interesting because I feel a very split message around this. For some of you, you need more of a routine. You need more structure to help you feel a little more grounded, a little more settled, okay? To help you get through everything because maybe at times you feel a little scattered. And yet for others of you, you need to break out of the routine, <laughs> right? So I felt those two very polarized messages come out. So there's a lot of different people watching this. Uh, can you try a different approach? Can you see how resourceful you can be? And really, it's breaking out of the routine because I felt this. What, what's going on here? So I felt the grace. In order to capture more joy in your life and enjoy this soul traveler calling that you have. All right. <laughs> Let's get that story. Where was that? There's the traveler. Um, and there's the calling. Okay. So there's that story. Doing things, creative things out of wisdom, love, and that brings abundance. But in order to really enjoy being here you need to try new things okay you need to try new approaches you need to give yourself that chance to see how open you can be okay what does that look like for you all right so we're gonna leave it there guys i'm sending you all so much love and take care Bye bye